you were on that Patriots defense. Mm -hmm. So when you think about Coach Belichick, is he overrated as a defensive coach? I don't think he's overrated as a defensive coach. What he's doing with the talent that he has is is uh is, is great, to be honest with you. Um if you look at the Patriots defense, you got what one pro bowler. It's really not anybody on that defense that you could point out and say, you know what, that's a playmaker, a difference maker. He'd go out there on a third down or or whatever and and get me a play that'll turn this game around. Right. So, you know, with that being said, I think he's doing a great okay, job. Okay, so is it fair to ask, is he overrated as a personnel director, as a drafter? as an acquirer of talent, because he runs the whole show. Um, is that hmm. his fault he that there's no playmaker? The show. Uh, he, he, maybe. he picked you. At, he said, I need you. I need you to make one play for me, right? right. Unfortunately, if the Eagles are scoring 41 points, one play isn't going to really make any big difference, right? Well, one third down here or there it could have well, made a big difference than that. But, yeah. you know, that's, that's neither here nor there. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, I don't think he's overrated. I think he's doing a good job with the talent that he has. Um, as far as drafting that talent, I don't, I don't know. Um, maybe it's, you know, he had a guy in uh, that's in Cleveland right now as a linebacker that he, he ended did. up just, you know, uh, trading over to, to, Jay, to Jamie to, Collins. Yeah, to Cleveland. Yeah. Um, Chandler Jones. Yeah. He didn't want to pay. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, skipping. I don't know if it was he didn't really want to pay. He didn't want to pay that market value because what Chandler Jones got, and Coach Chandler Belichick had eight. some off-field yes. issues. Yeah. Yes. Okay. But for me, Skip, it, it's just hard. The guy's been there for 20 years. That's 320 ball games, and he's given up 40.7 times. I think that's great. I think sometimes it's the same thing that when you look at it, we go to Coach Saban, and he say, well, he's given up 40 times. But if you look at the, what he's been able to do, he's won five national championships. Coach Belichick has won five Super Bowls. See, Skip, I think when Coach Belichick, he has to get a particular type of a player mm -hmm. because everybody can't play for him. Because you can't even check your ego at the door. You got to leave it home. Because if you check it at the door, there's a good chance you might go back and pick it up once you get inside. Mm -hmm. So you got to leave your ego at home to play for that man. Everybody can't play for him, Skip. He's looking for a particular type of an individual. Exactly. So, And why is that? Because his system is the star. Yes, right? yes, yes. He wants cogs for his system. Not a whole lot of questions. Don't question him now. Because you know? if you're like, well, Coach, why are we doing this? In, in mm-mm. Mm -mm. He said, look, we're going to play this coverage. You buzz the flat. You go hook. You do this. But, Coach, if it – No, 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 no. No, no, no. no, 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 no. I'm not, not going to lie. You can – I've, I've had questions, and it's been explained to me. So, <laughs> yeah. it's not It's not <laughs> like it. – yeah. it's just, yeah. hey, you're going to do what I say because I said do it. Right. No, he gives you a rhyme and a reason and he why he's doing it. Because I've talked to a lot of guys like it was like they were questioning him and what he was doing. Well, you may – like, question, like, I, I ain't gonna lie, like, in the Super Bowl, I'm like, why didn't we just, like, give Butler a chance to, like, just, like, do something, like, anything. Oh, you want to Malcolm Butler Like, play. yeah, just, like, after the first half, I'm like, something is better than nothing. Like, right. just give us one third down, two thirds, something, stop. Maybe you gonna, maybe you gonna knock down a anything, pass or something. Huh? something. Hmm. Yeah, so, I mean, but, you know, that's, that's, that's just But I don't think he's overrated as a defensive coordinator. No. He did get Gronk. Gronk's going to the Hall of Fame. Some he's people. Tom Brady. Uh, you mean as a personnel director? As a personnel director. I mean, he got two Hall of Famers. That, I mean, some people go, Skip, everybody ain't going to be Ozzie Newsom. Hit with Jonathan Ogden, hit with Ray Lewis, he hit with no. Suggs, hit with Andrew. I think Reed. he hit with Sonny Michelle. Yes, he did. yes, yes. And I think he was about to hit with Isaiah Wynn. Remember, that was his tackle he took out of Georgia. And right. he tore his knee up in training camp. And and he yeah. didn't know, I mean, he yeah. didn't know he had one of the Godfathers. Yeah. He hit with Hernandez. He didn't know he had a Godfather on well, his Well, he team. probably had an idea <laughs> that was coming, right? But, but he could make some plays, Skip. He was Look, unbelievable talent. I appreciate the fact that you played for that man and he gave you a chance near the end of your career mm -hmm. to go up there and make some plays for him. So you honor him because I think you, you consider it an honor to play for him. Is that fair? I consider it an honor to have him give me an opportunity Correct. to not end my career the way they were trying to end it. Okay, well, quarter. I don't have those ties or that connection. Sure. <laughs> and obviously, I am a fan of the quarterback. I'm not a fan of New England, but I am a fan of the quarterback. And I still don't think the quarterback gets enough credit for what he's done to help save Bill Belichick's legacy over the last three or four years. Because to me, he has become overrated as a defensive football coach. It's clear to me, and nobody wants to acknowledge this, that he is losing his fastball on the defensive side of the ball. 
And it's very clear to me that Andy Reid cannot wait to play against a Bill Belichick defense because he is shredding it. He is owning it. He is terrorizing the cogs on that defense on a consistent basis, not in one or two games, but over four games since Andy has been in Kansas City. Because mm-hmm. all, all you got to do is look at those first numbers because it's 41, 42, and 40 that he scored in three of the four. And the other game was the playoff game after the 2015 season, early 2016. Well, you got to understand, some yeah. people – Maybe have your number, you know. Yeah. Maybe he has. Well, he's got a, his a, number. A, a and the number is a big what four. What he's going to do, you know? you know. Even in that playoff game, remember three of four. Three of the four games were checked down Alex Smith, and even he had Belichick's number because if we just look at those four games, Kansas City is twenty-seven of fifty-three on third down in those four games. That's over fifty percent. So half the time, either check down Alex or this year Patrick Mahomes boy has had the football. Half the time they're going to convert on third down. That's hard to beat, man, because that's you just can't get off the field if you keep doing that. They've had almost 100 first downs in four games. That's, that's really hard to beat. And in that one playoff game that they lost 27-20, to 20, Kansas City lost, they just dominated every stat, 12-20 on third down. They ran 83 plays to only 56 for New England. They had the ball 38 minutes to 22 minutes, but they couldn't cash. So I give you the red zone. I give you that. They did the bend, 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 but you don't quite break. And yet that game came down to an onside kick with a minute and 15 seconds left, and Gronkowski was the one who recovered it. But if I look at the big picture, it's, it's torch city every time, including the second half this year on October 14th at Foxborough on Sunday night. Patrick Mahomes scored 31 points in the second half. That, that that's pathetic. That's that, that's not Bill Belichick. But look at what Coach Belichick is going up against. He's got a guy that's going to win the MVP. He has a tight end that's in the, that's first team All Pro. He has Tyreek Hill, who's first team All Pro at the flex position, and he had a running back in Kareem Hunt that was led the league in rushing. Skip, when you have those, when you have that kind of firepower, it's going to be very difficult. Now, like I said. They got 40 points against Coach Belichick, but they also got 44 other times, too. Okay, they averaged are, are 35. We still, are we including check down Alex in this equation? Because yeah. they didn't get 40 against everybody. No, no, no. They, they didn't. And that's and see, that's why Andy Reid made the move. He needed to know. Like, hold on. Wait a minute. With all this firepower, I should be able to do this more than on one occasion. I know, but three now, out of those four games were check down Alex, and they still just dominated no, two, uh, that defense. Two. two three. Two. two. They, huh? Remember, you said the divisional game, they didn't get that. They lost 27. Well, but, I mean, they dominated every yeah. stat. I mean, they just tore them apart. The first game. L- the look first, at the time of skip, possession, 38 game, to 22. Tom Brady turned the ball over three times, Skip. Okay, that was just a disaster. Okay, yeah. okay. so we go, let's, let's, throw, let's throw that one out. Let's just go to the last two, the mm-hmm. Thursday night in here. You look at what happened. Tyreek, Kelsey, mm-hmm. Travis Hunt, Alex Smith, all those guys went to the Pro Bowl. Mm-hmm. This year, Mahomes, Pro Bowl. Tyreek, all pro. Kelsey, all pro. Mahomes, all pro. Mm-hmm. Bill Belichick, genius. Oh, or maybe not. I don't know. You don't think so? Every, I, well, I'm every, not lately. I don't. Hunt so you're going with Kansas City then is what you're saying? No, I'm not going. I'm <laughs> okay. going with number 12. I, I love number 12 because I show you every time. Okay, when Patrick Mahomes scores 31 in the second half, Tom Brady threw for 182 in the fourth quarter and outscored Kansas City 16-14 to 14 on his own. So he overcame the lack of defense, which he's been doing all year long. You remember they got torched by Blake Bortles. They got torched at Detroit. And yet Turnovers. he kept bouncing back and bouncing back. And If they don't turn the ball over, it's virtually – it's very difficult to beat the Patriots if they don't turn the football over, if they don't help you. Mm. Because normally they coach you into mistakes and help you beat yourself. Well, so, look at what happened in your Super Bowl that you played last year. The difference was one turnover. Okay, but you you gave up 41 points, and Tom Brady threw an all for an all time playoff record 505. He only completed 28 passes. That's 18 yards of completion. But if you don't stop the run, James, you can you can attest to this. If you can't stop a team's run, and all of a sudden you have to drop an extra defender down, and they play action, you yeah, you ask him for trouble, especially when you got a guy that can run a sub sub 10 flat 100 meters in Tyreek. Yeah. Okay, so take the all the other firepower out of it in those four games. Kansas City's averaged 155 yards rushing yes. a game. Jamal Charles was, you know, before you started tearing his knee up, Jamal Charles was kind of special. Well, so was Bill Belichick. 
once upon a time. Skip, well, he was. I, no, he was. He so was the greatest so I just want to make sure I'm hearing you. Yeah, so you know you're hearing me exactly He's correctly. supposed to. So every <laughs> great player, Coach Belichick, because he's a genius, supposed to shut him out. No, but you should be respectable. This is not even respectable. This is Skip, now the five, there's seven games out of 320. What seven games? He's, He's given up 40 total. points seven yeah. times okay, in 320 but, okay, games. But how many of them have come lately? It doesn't matter, Skip. One, two, three, four. Up oh, four in the last three years. How many in those playoffs uh. have they given up 40? Well, Super Bowl. Exactly. Yeah. Aaron Ro- ask Aaron Rodgers about that. His team mm. gave up 51. That wasn't the Super Bowl, but it, it was a playoff game. Uh, exactly. Mm. So how many times you going to give well, up Nobody 40? ever accused Mike McCarthy of being a defensive genius, they right? Did, they, yeah. they did, yeah. uh, what you call him, Don Capers. They said he I was a genius. Know, never. He's a master of his own blitz, I thought. No, he was never in Bill Belichick's category. Ain't nobody no. there. Huh? Ain't nobody well, there. he used to the be there by himself. In, first of all, the only guy that's in his conversation as far as head coaching is Lombardi. That's the, there, there's two people at the coaching table. It's wrong. Two Stop. people. You left two the people. I ain't leave out nobody. Bill Walsh. No. Case closed. Coach. Game over. Hey. Hey. Only two people got hey. the key. No. You, you want to talk about inventing an offense and picking stars? That guy could do it like nobody. Cole Belichick. Done it. Bill Walsh. Two people got a key to the coaching. I'll take Bill Walsh over Bill Belichick any day or not. Two, any day. Two Trust coaches. me. Got it's keys over. To the it's major. over. You're, Who is you're done. Cole Lombardi and Cole Belichick. You're done. <laughs> 